Hello and welcome. In this video, we will discuss the installation of the Haas RKHO with the RKHO.120P plug-in transformer kit onto a single chilled fountain with a bottle filler. However, the following steps will also largely apply to our other hands-off retrofit kits, including the RKHO.120, RKHO.240, and RKHO.JH. Some of these steps will vary based on the brand of fountain. Begin by turning off the power to the unit at the breaker for your safety, if the unit is powered. Follow this by removing the louvered panel below the fountain if one is installed. You will need an Allen key set to remove the screws on either side of the louvered panel. To remove the panel, simply pull it down and away from the fountain. This will expose the power, supply line, and drain of the fountain, as well as the chiller if one is installed. As a further precaution, unplug the chiller during the installation. Next, turn off the water supply and be sure to have a towel handy as you disconnect portions of the water line, excess water may spill out. Again using an Allen key, remove the access plate underneath the drinking fountain. Depending on the model and the brand that you are retrofitting, other tools may be necessary. Depress the collet on the elbow on each side of the 5874 valve to release the inlet tubing and outlet tubing for the water supply line. Now use the spanner wrench tool to remove the existing valve. This is Haas part number 00069835060, which is not supplied but is included with the fountain and can typically be found inside the fountain. Insert the tool into the holes on either side of the button and turn it until it locks into place. Twist firmly as there may be a small amount of Loctite on the threads. Remove the threaded washer behind the button to fully release and remove the valve. If you are also retrofitting the bottle filler, our model 1920 or similar, then repeat the process you just performed on the drinking fountain. Remove the access panel, disconnect the tubing, and remove the valve using the spanner wrench. The kit will include the sensor itself, a solenoid valve, regulator, wiring harness, and in the RKHO.120P, the plug-in transformer. It is recommended that the solenoid valve be placed behind the fountain to save space. Connect the supply tubing to the solenoid valve inlet. You will need to provide a connector that fits your inlet tubing size. The solenoid valve connection is 1 quarter inch NPT. Note the arrow indicating the direction of the flow on the side of the valve. Following a similar process, use the existing 3 8 inch OD tubing to connect the solenoid valve outlet to regulator valve inlet, paying special attention to the directional arrow on the regulator indicating the direction of the flow. Lastly, connect the regulator valve outlet to the bubbler supply tubing. Regulator valve can also be placed behind the drinking fountain if you do not have room in the drinking fountain cavity.
Wire the harness to the sensor following the included wiring diagram, paying special attention to which terminal is the positive and which is the negative. This is indicated on the back of the sensor. Once wired, double check your work and begin removing the mounting hardware on the front of the sensor. Insert the sensor through the opening previously occupied by the manual button and ensure that it is oriented upright based on the verbiage on the back of the sensor. Replace the mounting hardware and use the spanner wrench to tighten the hardware into place, being cautious not to over tighten. Now that the sensor has been wired and installed, it's time to connect the solenoid and the transformer per the cable wiring diagram to the wiring harness. Loosen the terminal screws on the plug-in transformer to attach the wiring harness. The two additional connection options on the wiring harness are for an optional bottle filler or drinking fountain. The previous steps remain the same for the addition of one of these accessories. For the RKHO.120P plug-in transformer kit, plug the 24 VAC transformer into a duplex receptacle. For all others, wire the transformer to the appropriate power either 120 or 240 VAC depending on the transformer kit choice. Per NEC, CEC, and local codes, note that the transformers must be installed such that they will be protected from direct contact with water. In this installation example, we have a bottle filler attached to the drinking fountain, so we will join the wiring harness from the bottle filler to the wiring harness from the drinking fountain. Plug in our newly wired transformer and return power to the chiller if one is installed. Connecting power will initiate the sensor startup process. The hands-off sensor will take approximately one to five minutes to complete its full cycle of self-calibration. It is important that no object is within 36 inches of the front of the sensor during this time. When calibration is complete, the red light will shut off. If the 24 VAC power supply is interrupted for more than 15 seconds, the startup mode will automatically repeat itself when power is restored. If the indicator light flashes three times quickly and three times slowly and continues to repeat this sequence, this indicates incorrect wiring or a short in the supply line. Turn the water supply on and adjust the bubbler's flow using the regulator. Clockwise adjustment increases flow, counterclockwise decreases flow. Finally, check the fountain for leaks before reinstalling the access panels. Once you are confident that no leaks exist, tuck the excess wiring into a safe place or fasten them out of the way using the included cable ties. At this point, replace any and all open access panels underneath the drinking fountains, bottle fillers, or any other accessory. To replace the louver panel, slide the tongued edge under the back panel of the drinking fountain. 
Lastly, fasten the louvered panel back into place using the previously removed hardware. You have now successfully installed the RKHO with the RKHO.120P plug-in retrofit kits. Remember that these steps apply to most brands and most of this process is similar across all available sensor kits. If you need further assistance, please contact our customer service team at 1-888-640-4297 or our technical support team at 1-800-766-5612. Thank you for watching.